<laughs> hey, good morning, everybody. It's Phil Friedman here in the Friedman Adventure Studios at beautiful 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro, California. I'm actually not here while you're watching this. I'm out on the pride. We're looking around for some yellowfin tuna, maybe some big bluefin tuna. Who knows? what lies in our future today as we are out there. But I've recorded this for you so that the morning briefing continues on. And I've gotten a lot of great information, checked out some of the boats already, was able to put together some scores for you, as well as some trends of what I think is going to happen. First of all, let's send our thoughts and prayers to Captain Eddie Leland, his battle with cancer. Eddie's looking better to me, but he's still really deep into this battle, and he needs your positive vibes, your thoughts, and your prayers. So many of you have been so wonderful about that, and Eddie and I and his family, we all deeply appreciate it. So keep it rocking. Keep those prayers, thoughts headed in Eddie's direction. Also, if you'd like to join us for a surf fishing adventure, I'm going to be doing some guide type stuff in the surf. I'm not going to start for a month, maybe even two, but if you'd like to get on that list, and I put that number out the other day and had 40 people respond, so there's a lot of you interested in surf fishing. I've got to tell you, it is a blast. You're going to love it. You can spend a couple hours a day doing it. So you can work it around your work schedule. You actually catch some really nice fish and you get to learn how to read the beach, how to dig bait up out of the sand. It's it's really a lot of fun. If you'd like to get on that surf fishing list, just send me a text and maybe put surf fishing list. Put that. How's that? And that's 657-227-6459. All right, here we go. We've had some weather. It was blowing at midnight last night. And I'm talking to you now, as you know, Thursday morning. Last night, it was blowing. It was blowing everywhere. It ruffled up the water. And I think that's been the problem here recently. You know, that Dorado bite that was once very real for many boats in the L.A. Orange County area is not happening right now. And that is a result of the wind. The wind drops water temperatures and it moves the water edges around and it pushes the Dorado around. So we'll have to see where we come out on the other end. The good news is that Thursday and mostly Friday look really good in terms of the weather. So that is something I think you can take to the bank and it's going to be really, really helpful. So let me start you out on the other side of the border down in Ensenada where they had their wind also. And it's going to be a little breezy, you know, throughout the week. Not terrible, but it's going to be a little bit breezy. Pongaros down there have had just a spectacular year. The guys at Blackfin... Albert Ponce fishes there with his wife, Crystal, and tells me they are top-notch black men. And, of course, Arnie, Arnie Man on Facebook, Arnie Sport Fishing on Instagram. He's a great guy. I know Arnie very, very well. He's a top-notch fisherman, got a nice rig down there in Ensenada, fishes hard, knows what he's doing, super good guy, and he watches Freeman Adventures eating his palomitas, his popcorn, every Tuesday night when we're on live. So it's always great to fish with Arnie. And then Diego Nuno, he's a deckhand on the Royal Star. He's got a Parker down in Ensenada. Can't get any better than Diego. And when Diego's on the Royal Star, he's got a top-notch skipper running the boat for him down there. So those guys have been having really good fishing. You know, Kelp Patty Dorado. There's a lot of yellowfin a little bit to the south of Ensenada. That's where the majority of it is. And it's mostly 5 to 10-pound fish, but it is full speed. And still lots of kelps holding, lots of Dorado down in that neck of the woods. We made the, 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 we, made, we postulated the idea that it was better in San Diego about two days ago. And then all of a sudden, LA Orange County area lit up again. And then it dipped again. It's dipping again, going down with all this wind. So San Diego definitely is the most consistent area right now. We're going on the Relentless on Sunday night, sold out. And can't wait for that trip. That's going to be a great one. Day and a half trip. Chef Jason, the life of the party is going to be there. Anthony Amalfitano is going to be on that trip. Really can't wait for that one with so many great people and so many wonderful people. Greg Bates is going to be there and so many really fun people. It's going to be a good one. And so it gives me an opportunity to tell you that that bite is continuing on. Ocean Odyssey, 2.5 day trip. Limits of yellowfin tuna. Biting the 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon really well. We like Opsin fluorocarbon and that is www.opsinusa.com. Put in FA at checkout. Greg Brown will send you a handwritten love note along with a free gift. I'm not sure what that free gift is, but I'm sure 
it's worth thousands of dollars. Right, Greg? Yeah, right. Um, Daiwa Pacific, limits of yellowfin tuna, limits of Dorado. They are really cranking the fish down in SD. About 80 miles down the coast is where those guys are fishing. I'm talking day and a half, guys. And of course, you get to fish till dark. So, I mean, you got a long time to make it happen. And that not only comes in handy if you're having trouble finding the fish, it comes in super handy if it's time of day fishing and the fish are biting late. I can remember being on day boats and the albacore biting at four o'clock in the afternoon and you gotta go 80 miles back so you're on your way home at 1.32 in the afternoon and you're gonna get in there late, staying that late down there. And those day and a half boys, they're staying waiting for that dinner bell to ring at four. So it's always great to be on a day and a half trip and that makes a big difference. Old Glory, Limits of Dorado, 7 yellowfin tuna, a few yellowtail. Tribute, Limits of Dorado, 10 yellowfin tuna, and 1 yellowtail. So some pretty darn good shooting on Wednesday as we look back at that, and hopefully we're going to see that continue to head in the right direction. I don't see anything that will turn around because now weather's going to get nicer. It's not going to be flat calm. It's going to be a little bit breezy and lumpy, but... Those yellowfin will bite in that. Finding kelp's a little bit more difficult, but hopefully we'll be able to do that also. And remember to vary your tackle. Have some light stuff like 20 pound, some smaller hooks, two size, four size hooks, and then have that 30 to 40 pound ready to go with two O size hooks. A good hot sardine will do it for you every single time. And those Daiwa Zakana lures have been cranking yellowfin and it's been very effective on bluefin also now some of the day boats have had spectacular fishing two days ago the grande had wide open bluefin tuna fishing with limits of bluefin last time i heard and this is subject to change he was having a very difficult day on wednesday tough day on the grande on wednesday um but he could have turned that around so i admonish you to check that out i don't want to take that to the bank because i'm recording early as you well know um, other guys, San Diego, those guys, they're up and down. You know, I mean, two days ago, limits are out on the San Diego. Didn't get us count for Wednesday yet. So, again, you'll need to check that. But they've been kind of inconsistent, but at times spectacular fishing going on. Really, really looking good. All right, so let's move you out to the L.A. Orange County area and tell you that, man, it is more hit and miss right now than it's been for a while. Now, I can tell you that the Pride, we're on there right now. It's Thursday morning. You're watching this. We're supposed to be running to a brand new yellowfin tuna area. And we're going to fish that. And then we're going to hit that bluefin tuna at night. Now, one thing about the nighttime bluefin right now, and incidentally, we're kind of right on track for a really good hit on that BFT because this is when the weather is going to come down. So that is great news. It's a lot of fish over 200 pounds right now. Look at the Navigante out of Redondo Sword Fishing. They had 14 Dorado two yellowfin tuna, 19 bluefin, one of their bluefin, 237 pounds. Mark Paisano Jr. was on the Amigo a couple days ago, he said this was, and he was running back from the bluefin area when he stumbled across a whole new, brand new area of fish, and he said it was straight 200 pounders. They got one that was like 205, lost a whole bunch of others, really tough fish, really big fish. That nighttime bite is for sure coming on and the long range boats putting the wood to them also in entirely different areas there's bluefin scattered everywhere they're moving around a lot so you get them off the west end of Clemente up near San Nicholas Island uh, down toward the Coronado Islands are all over the place and those big ones are coming out to play as it is officially fall right now so that is spectacular news hopefully that's going to keep on going 200 pound Leaders, you definitely want to, don't want to fish anything less than that. Daiwa two-speed reels, highly recommended. 100-pound Spectra at least. I like 130. Knife jigs, anywhere from a couple hundred grams to 500, depending upon wind and current. And how deep the fish are, you're going to observe, talk to the crew, and change it up if you have to. It's super important. Working hard out there and making sure you're paying attention, observing, and adjusting to anything that you need to adjust to. Really some big fish. Now, taking a look at, you know, we've had three-quarter day boats and, ha uh, the, the, well, mostly the three-quarter day guys. Half day guys are fishing three-quarter day stuff. So, Sport King. One yellowtail, four bonita, 21 calico bass, 25 whitefish, six sheep's head for 24 anglers. Looked for Dorado, didn't find any, ended up at Catalina. Catalina's been kind of El Stinko this year. 
There hadn't been a lot of anything there, and it's kind of remaining that way. Thunderbird. Well, you know the Thunderbird and Jeff Marklin or the guy that runs it when Jeff's not there. They're on anything that is going on. They ended up fishing Clemente. Not that bad with 36 yellows, 14 bonita, 9 calico bass. But makes you scratch your head a little bit about why aren't they fishing the Dorado? Where are the Dorado right now? And this wind is making things more difficult. It's coming down on Thursday. Going to be beautiful on Friday. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, things are going to settle down and it's going to get back on the bite again. Because right now, we are in that state of flux. You know, we're not supposed to have wind right now. This is the fall. I think it's officially the fall today. And we're not supposed to have wind in the fall. These are our best weather months. But in a year that has been anything but predictable, why not? I guess we're going to have a windy fall also. Hopefully we settle into some decent weather. It does look like in the long-range forecast, after Thursday, Friday, it's going to get a little breezy again. Not terrible, but a little bit breezy. And we'll see where that takes us. That should not affect these big bluefin tuna because the water is warm enough as it is right now. If it comes down a few degrees, we're going to be okay. But it may chase that Dorado out of here, and that yellowfin tuna may not walk up the line. That fish at 80 miles below Point Loma right now may not pop up here if that water temp gets, oh, I don't even want to say it because I've seen yellowfin in 65 degree water. Not often, but once in a while it does. So, you know, like 68, 67 that's like kind of where the yellowfin start turning around and going in search of warmer water. 66 like that. That's getting borderline. 67 is what they can live with. They prefer 70 plus and they're swimming along and having a really good time. Looking at the islands here on Thursday morning, we take a look down there, of course, at the area around Ensenada. And we're looking at Todos Santos, a few yellows, some lings. There's been some decent calico bass fishing. Coronado Island still has some yellows when you have good conditions there up there at Clemente. You saw the Thunderbird at 36 yellows. That's a pretty darn good day. Nothing wrong with that. Catalina, Sword King was there, didn't do much. It's been a tough place to fish this year. And then Channel Island area, Nicholas and those areas. Um, Nick, uh, there's bluefin around there. So Channel Island boats now can focus on that and so can San Pedro boats it's not that far of a run for us to get up into that neck of the woods that's good news and then when you look at the Channel Islands in tighter to the beach um, you're looking at the occasional white sea bass flurry some halibut copious amounts of rockfish really good fishing and a few bass you know calico sand bass along the coast nothing to write home about and Corvina fishing still pretty good there's some warm water pockets and those Corvina are you know, moving up and down the beach, looking for sand grabs, looking for something to gulp. And if you toss a nice natural bait like a sandworm or a sand crab or a ghost shrimp on six pound in front of a man, they can hardly resist gobbling that up with some yellowfin croaker and a few halibut on like lucky craft lures or chrome crocodiles also work great in the surf. All right, there you have it. I'm not here. I'm on the pride and you still get the morning briefing. It's always great to be with you all. Thank you so very much for being a part of Friedman Adventures. And you are a big part because you're smashing that like button. That means so much to us. So if you could please hit that like button, we deeply, deeply appreciate that. And also share this with a friend. That would also be great. And don't be afraid to leave a comment. I try to answer every single one. So if you have a question, you want to make a comment, there's something else you'd rather hear, just leave a comment. And we take them all really, really serious because you're helping us to build our channel to heights that I really didn't think were possible so quickly. Thanks again, my friends. I hope to see you really soon. We'll be in Friday night from our two-day trip on the Pride. Hopefully, we'll have a good count and a good video for you then. Take care. I'll see you soon.